KP family is Karen P and your girl is back with another video listen if you're not already part of the KP family go ahead on and hit that subscribe button right now today be sure to turn your post notifications on give this video a big thumbs up comment down below follow me on all social media platforms it's Karen P I T S K A R E N P straight across the search bar and be sure to subscribe to my other YouTube channel Karen P reacts listen y'all it's story time yes story time about karen p living in the ghetto the hood the projects and i moved out of it y'all i moved out of the projects to a more to a upper class area they, yeah to an upper class uh area y'all um <clears throat> y'all I lived in the ghetto for 10 years, okay? 10 years, y'all. My youngest is 10, so yes. After I gave birth to him a few months later, y'all, I moved to the ghetto, okay? And y'all, I was renting from a private owner. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, my throat is... Sorry. <clears throat> I was renting from a private owner, y'all. So when I first moved there, um, only thing they asked for was the first month's rent and the last month's rent, which was a total of $1,600. So yes, the rent was $800 a month. They didn't do no credit check, no background check, no employment um, verification, no references, nothing like that. All they wanted was their money. You understand me? So that's just what they got. They got their money. So, um, when I first moved there, I remember them saying, well, the owner's daughter was like, oh, yeah, the area is real nice. You're going to love it, girl, for you and your kids. I, you know, y'all know I have two I have two boys, ages 21 and 10. But for those of y'all that don't know, now you know. So she was like, you know, y'all, you're going to love it for you and your kids or whatever. So, boom, you know, fast forward, I moved in. When I first moved in, I was like, what in the Charlie Rancher is this? You know what I'm saying? Like what the hell so you know it was a lot of things that needed to be fixed you know worked on or whatever and they took care of me now y'all again i was in the ghetto i mean only listen y'all when i say roaches i'm keeping it real with y'all now i ain't gonna get up up on here and act like you know what i'm saying it is what it is it, that's you know i ain't gonna do that there. i can't even get my words out but i'm gonna give y'all the truth though i mean roaches like crazy but I was like, you know what? I've never experienced this before. But I'm going to give it my all. And I'm going to get rid of these roaches. They didn't even supply us with extermination. An exterminator coming every month. We didn't even get our AC filters changed every month. You hear me? I'm talking about real life ghetto-ish. Oh, just wash it out. Wash it out? What? How do you... Why would you... What? Wash out an AC filter and put that wet stuff back in? Come on now. But anyway, y'all, I got rid of them roaches. When I say I got rid of them roaches, I got rid of the roaches. Okay? Trust and believe I did my thing. I got rid of them goddamn gone roaches. And I got the AC filters, you know, I bought I got them by the bulk. So I was changing it every month by my damn self. You know what I'm saying? For 10 years. Yes. So, y'all, moving right along, that's just like, the what the hell? Like, what are you paying money for? I guess they say, like they say, you get what you pay for, $800, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, the dumpster was right, The not was, it is, because I just moved from over there not too long ago. Um, the dumpster is right in the parking lot, y'all, like right there. When I tell y'all flies like crazy, it's like damn that every time I open my door, a fly came in. Damn, Karen P, you was living like that and was. It definitely was. But got get but guess what? I worked my ass off to get up out of there though. I worked my ass off to get me and my kids up out of there though. But y'all, I mean, loud music being played, you know, illegal activities being done on the premises, you know. Uh, street walkers, you know, just all type of negative things, y'all. 
I can't count how many scratches I have on my car that I'm driving right now, y'all. I bought this car living there, y'all. Every scratch that is on my car came from me living in the ghetto. They, these mother elfers even hit my back bumper, y'all, and didn't even tell me. I had just parked my car there. This was recently now. Just parked my car real quick to go inside to go and grab something and then take my son to football practice and come back out the door, y'all. My bump on the driver's side. That bumper hit. They took a little cloth to try to wipe it off. What made me notice was my car was already dirty. So why is this one side of my bumper shiny? Make, make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm like, these jokers done hit my damn car. They done did a hit and run and you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm talking about y'all every scratch, except for what well, I have a scratch in my front bumper that happened at Publix. But y'all, them jokers tore my car up. Not once did I ever get an apology or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, well, one of my neighbors, her son did uh, wreck my car. My car was parked and he was parking and he wrecked it, which, you know, the mother did, you know, she did what she did, what she was supposed to do. You know, got my car fixed, put me in a rental or whatever. And, you know, she cleaned her face. But y'all, I'm talking about fighting out there, arguing out there. Whatever negative thing you could think of, it happened over there. Shootings and all. Yes. We made it out the ghetto. We made it out of the ghetto. And I give it to God. Y'all, when I tell y'all, my mother, my father, my brother, my sis-law, all of them told me, Karen P, you need to get up out of there. You need to get up out of there. Y'all, 10 years, 10 years too long. 10 years too long. But let me tell y'all something. I applied for government assistance, housing, you know, Section 8, low income, and I couldn't get none of it. Never got any of it, couldn't get any of, any of it, to this day still can't get it. Because God said, what's for you is for you. Again, God said what is for you is for you. It can't nobody take that from you. So with that being said, the housing and the Section 8, the low-income government assistance, it wasn't for me. Leave it to those. Leave it for those that need it. God put me in position, y'all. He put me in position to where I was able to move out of the ghetto without any type of governmental assistance. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it feels good. It feels absolutely good because I'm not depending on the system. Again, I'm not depending on the system, y'all. And it feels very good. 10 years, y'all, and here I am again, done move to upper class and still not in the system and it feels good but y'all when i tell y'all with me living there things just within the past few years especially this year here 2024 things have gotten so bad i'm gonna say that again things gotten so bad i had to get up out of there y'all i mean all of a sudden now y'all who I was paying my rent to every month yeah at times I was late I, I don't face eviction you know what I'm saying but I didn't get evicted I give it to God and of course those that were able to help me you know what I'm saying my family that looked out for me you know my mother my, 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 my brother my sis-law you know what I'm saying my daddy I, I, I give it to them, y'all. But y'all, ooh, I got a testimony, Lord, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus, y'all. When I tell y'all, it got so 
bad, y'all, to where my youngest son said to me, Mom, we need to move. We need to move from over here. I don't like it over here. It's it's so nasty. And and, and he wasn't lying. It's so nasty. It's so dirty. And it stank. And he wasn't lying. We'll pull up, y'all, and open the door, and, you know, and outside just smell like straight urine. Because they was using the outside as they toilet. I mean, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I pulled up home one day, y'all. They had a roll of toilet paper out the damn door. Out the damn door. I mean, washing clothes by hand. And I ain't got, ain't nothing wrong because I don't wash clothes by hand. You feel me? But I don't hang my stuff out the door. I hang, a in, I hang it up inside my home. I mean, washing clothes out the door, y'all, and hanging it up on the dirty gate where the dumpster at. Y'all, help me understand how does that make sense. Help me understand how is that clean. You're hanging up clothes that you just got through washing on a dirty gate. Especially where the dumpster is. That's the gate to close up the dumpster, you know. I mean, I'm just like, who 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 does that? That is pure nastiness. I mean, look, you know, girls undergarment, men's undergarment, all you know, just garment, clothes, all that. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all. When I first got that place, I used to be so happy to come home. I used to be at work like, ooh, child, I can't wait to get home. But then, like I say, once things started getting so bad, y'all, I was like, damn, man, I don't feel like I don't want to go home. That's not home. That's just a place with a roof over our head. That is not home. It was that bad, y'all. Y'all know how many sleepless nights that I had with those folks playing that loud music, not giving no type of respect just didn't care arguing outside every time i mean every time i came home it was always people sitting outside smoking and drinking loud music playing i i, I could i didn't even say excuse me i it, i couldn't even get into my own home y'all my home with my door be blocked up and i just be like excuse me not yeah not and not saying excuse me excuse me like, come on, like, get the hell from in front of my door. That's y'all company. Why is y'all company sitting in front of my door? Why is y'all company in my path? Like, shouldn't be blocking my pathway. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I I was living in misery, y'all. I was living in misery. But let me tell y'all something about God. I had so much faith in God, and I had so much faith in myself and I just knew that I was going to be up out of there. I just didn't know when. Because everything that is done, y'all, is done on God's timing. And as bad as I wanted to leave, it's not what we wanted. Again, it's on God's timing. And when I tell y'all, I started feeling like all the walls was like closing in on me because I was just like, oh my God, like Every day is something different. Every day is something different, like bad. Bad, y'all. They told us don't pay the rent to who we was paying the rent to no more because allegedly this person was stealing the rent money. So they changed things up as to who we supposed to pay our rent to. Okay, cool. Paying our rent to this person. Then all of a sudden, a few months down the road, two days before the month, before the month is over for the following month to come in for us to pay rent we get a notice on our door stating don't pay our rent to who we was paying it to originally they sold the property allegedly the new owner will let us know who to pay our rent to when I say ghetto hood nasty non-professional the so-called owners came up to us 
oh i'm so and so i'm here to collect i'm here uh, you stay at hey your name karen you stay at such and such such and such i'm here to collect the rent money and who is you who who, who, is, who are you keep on new yet who are you oh i'm the new owner I, I just bought this property so i'm here to collect my rent money can can i get a lease can I get a lease? Can I get a new lease? Hello? Can I get a new lease? Oh, the rent done went up. Again, y'all remember I told y'all when I first moved, it was $800. Uh, then after that, they raised it to $1,100. After that, they raised it to $1,500. When these new people came, well, this new lady came, all of a sudden, it, it went to $1,750. Now, each time they raised the rent, y'all, they didn't do no improvement. They didn't upgrade anything. They didn't clean anything just as nasty and dirty as it want to be. Just as nasty and dirty as it want to be. And I can tell y'all two things that happened when I was living there in a good way. They repaired the roof. And that was when Hurricane Irma came. And... um. Yeah, they did the roof over because the roof was the roof was damaged, and they painted the building. Ten years, roof repair and painting. That's it. That's it, and that's all. You have noise complaints. Who who do you who who could I report it to? They didn't give a damn. They didn't care. They selling dope, you know, doing whatever out there, whatever, whatever, whatever it is they doing. You think no people care? They didn't care as long as they got their rent money. New owner came along, knows what's going on, acting like they's gonna, she's gonna, you know, clean up and do this and do that. Honey, at the bare minimum, the lawn is not even cut. I mean, the, the grass is damn near touching the windows. But it's seventeen fifty though. Seventeen fifty for what? For what? Oh, and your company can't stay no longer than four days. Says who? Kisa, you worrying about somebody staying inside my unit versus you cleaning up outside this mother effing unit versus you cleaning up this whole this whole complex. You worrying about who's staying in here versus you taking care of what's going on, all the things that need to be fixed within the unit. Come on, make it make sense. Y'all, I was telling my mother, my sister, my brother, and again, they was like, Karen P, you need to get up out of there. You need to get up out of there. Y'all, I prayed and I prayed. The pastor, my pastor even prophesied to me in church. And told me, say, in 30 days, you going to be in your new home. And the overseer said, yes, you going to be in your new home, Karen P. In 30 days, watch God work. Watch God work. Now, watch what I tell y'all. What I tell y'all, you got to have faith now. You got to have faith. You got to have faith. Paying your tithes, paying your offerings, having a relationship with God. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Don't think you got to go to church to have a relationship with God. Because trust and believe, again, it's a lot of people that's bad bound. It's a lot of people that can't, you know, that don't have a transportation. That can't get no transportation. But guess what? They still have a relationship with God. So don't make no excuse as to why you can't make it to church. Because you don't have to praise God in church. Again, there's a lot of people that are bad bound, y'all. And can't do it. It's a lot of different reasons as to one can't get to church. But they still have a relationship with God. So when you, if you ask me, there is no excuse as to why you should not have a relationship with God. And I see a lot of people like to run to him when they need him. Versus having that relationship with him. See, when you have that relationship with him, you ain't got to run to him. You ain't got to run to him and you ain't got to be run because you already know that God got you. You already know that God got you and that's just how I felt. And that's just how I feel. I know God had me 
and I know that God still has me. You understand what I'm saying? Through it all. I struggle, y'all. I struggle. Again, I used to, on my way home, and I just see all the street walkers, all the junkies, the people that only got all high up and they, you know, and I'm like, damn man i do not want to go home to this uh you know or my son experiencing this stuff see my oldest who's 21 he moved out a few years ago but he still got his experience living in the ghetto he still got his experience living in the ghetto and there's nothing about my kids that is ghetto now as for as as for me y'all i know how to turn it on and turn it off i know how to get hood i'm street smart but I'm also book smart. I'm more book smart than anything. I'm more book smart than anything, y'all. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. My breakthrough came on my birthday. I said, you know what? On my 41st birthday, I said, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do this. Again, I got my mother my father, my brother, my sister, my sister, my mother, my brother, my father, all in my head, all in my head. Karen P, you need to get up out of there. You need to get up out of there, y'all. And again, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And God made it happen, y'all. I went on my birthday is the first day that I started apartment hunting, y'all. And one of the properties that I went and looked at, I prayed to God about it. I prayed to God. And God told me, Karen Pete, this is going to be your new home for you and your child. This is your new home for you and your child. Go ahead on and apply. You've already been approved. We just, I just need you to put that application in the system you've already been approved let me tell you how god works god gonna give you them signs y'all god is gonna give you those signs and when i tell y'all i know the signs i feel the signs and i see the signs because again i have that relationship with god it's a spiritual thing it's a spiritual thing y'all y'all got to get in y'all little corner have y'all little space where it's just you and god and my time with God other than you know on Sundays and every day but you know just me and him one on one is in my car it's in my car I cry in my car yes I've cried myself to sleep but I cry in my car especially on my way going to work in the morning yes I'm gonna be honest with y'all listen this is my testimony this is my story. This is my life. This is my truth. This is my truth. See, a lot of people like to get on and put on and, and, up and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm going to let y'all know blood raw. I'm far from perfect. I'm far from per perfect, y'all. But God knows me and he knows my heart. Hey, I'm here because of God. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. I put that application in the system like God told me to. And three days later, I was approved. Three days later, y'all, I was approved. Let me tell y'all something. A lot of people feel like, oh, money, flashy, flashy with money. You know, they want to you know throw out the wand or you know fan it out or amp you know feather it out or you know what i'm saying do all like that, 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 that yeah yeah you know mo you know yeah money we all need money you i understand that but let me tell y'all something credit credit is number one you can use that money to pay that credit card off you get what i'm saying let me tell y'all something kp family everywhere that i went for an apartment they check credit not one place that i went to did not check credit and i told myself this time when i move i didn't want to go through no private owner i'm done with the private owner i'm going through a real leasing office 
And again, everywhere check credit. Everywhere wanted you to make three times the rent. Everywhere check ver employment verification. Background check. Credit. You know, all that. All that, y'all. And so I thank God. I thank God for that financial literacy that I got from my brother and my sister about how important credit is and I know that my mother and my father has very good credit but they never actually sat down with me one-on-one -on -one about my credit like my brother and my sister has so with them giving me the financial education on that I took it and I ran with it and I repaired my credit on my own. You know what? That's a whole nother story. I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all that financial literacy on a whole nother vlog. But y'all, I never knew until they told me how important and it, it, until they told me and it was proven how important credit is, y'all. But listen, when I got that approval, of course, y'all, the first things I gave it to God. I did call my mother. When I called my mother, my mother said, what you call to tell me? I already know you got to prove for your apartment. I say, what? Well, Ma, how you know? How you know? And she was like, because I felt it this morning when I woke up. The spirit already told me that you got approved. Watch God. Watch God. Call my brother and my sister. Let them know everybody was surprised but not surprised you understand what i'm saying when i told my youngest son he was so happy y'all he just went on mommy when we moving what's the date what's the date ma because i'm ready to go y'all check out my vlog before this one here my whole moving journey my whole moving journey what i went through you know all what i went through through moving I went through it, y'all, but y'all know something? Through these 10 years, them 10 years that I was living where I was living at, y'all, it wasn't easy by far, but God put me through it because he know I could get through it. And without him, I wasn't going to be able to. But let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Your girl been sleeping good every night. Kendrick been sleeping good every night, okay? When I told my oldest son, Gerard, he was happy. Like, oh, mommy, about time. I'm proud. I'm happy, mom. This is the beginning of a new start for you. You needed this. And he's right. Everybody was right, y'all. When I tell y'all, my family is so supportive of this. So supportive of me. And ain't nothing like family, y'all. A family that has your back. And I can say, no, I can honestly say, my family has my back. Y'all, it feels so good to be living, to no longer be living in the ghetto. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am not living in the ghetto anymore. I mean, all these amenities that I have, y'all, from the pool to the to the gym y'all that's just the name too you know and then it's so quiet it's so clean my neighbors are so nice they're they're not hood they're not ghetto they're you know what i'm saying i love it i'm at peace my son is at peace y'all when we went and picked up that u-haul truck i'm gonna put it right here where y'all could see what my son kendrick texts me while in the U-Haul truck side by side. Let me tell y'all something about God. Y'all better trust God. Trust and believe in God. Trust and believe in God, y'all. And know that God got y'all. Don't depend on no man. Depend on God. Don't depend on no woman. Depend on God. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm a living testimony. I'm a walking testimony. This is my truth. This is my life. This is my story. This is my testimony. God did it for me, y'all. And when I tell y'all, it feels so good to be out the hood. It feels good. I mean, look, 
you know, I got the tattoos and the goals or whatever. Don't let that fool you. But because other than that, nothing about me says ghetto. Nothing about me says hood. But I lived in it for 10 years. I wasn't raised in the hood. I wasn't raised in the ghetto. I wasn't raised in the projects. I wasn't raised in the system. I wasn't, we, we, we weren't raised off government assistance. None of that. My parents worked to take care of us, all three of us. My parents did what they were supposed to do. And let me tell y'all something, KP family. When I told my oldest son that, um, you know, um, that I was moving and stuff, and um, the new so-called owner had told me that uh, she said she regret purchasing, um, purchasing where I was living at. She said, you know, I I I really regret it. I feel like it's a waste of money, Karen. And you know, in my head, I'm thinking, you know what? The reason why she's saying this because is, is because she know that she got to like find reason to, as to why she raising the rent. Like she has to put that much work into the property. True enough, she does. Don't get me wrong. Not only that, the the additional two hundred and fifty dollars that she wants, she's saying that that is um everybody got to. Everybody got to pay a six month, uh, got to pay a deposit for the next six months for $250 every month in addition to the $1,500. So that makes it $1,750. So after the six months, once the six months hit, that's, that's $1,500 that you're getting from everybody in these units for another deposit. And y'all, I can't understand to this day, why do we have to pay another deposit? Where is my deposit when I first moved? Where's my $800 when I first moved? Won't you go get that from the original owner? I just couldn't understand it. You know, so after me speaking to my son, my oldest son, Gerard, y'all, he told me, he said, Mom, you don't see how they trying to gentrify where you stand at? You don't see that? All these new apartments that they're building? Mom, what's going to happen is they're going to end up buying her out. That's probably why she's saying she regret buying this property. That's probably why. It's called gentrification, y'all. If you don't know what it means, look it up. It's a cleanup. It's a sweep. They trying to clean it up. They trying to clean the hood up, y'all. But in the midst of them trying to clean up the hood, your girl got up out the hood. You hear me? I got up out the hood. And it feels so good. I mean, whether she regrets it or not, that's her business. That's her personal, her financial business, not mine. I just know that I got up out of there and I got up out of there in time. Okay? Where I was living at, I can't count how many people lost their lives. And I give it to God that my kids and I were able to make it out make it out of the ghetto listen y'all again it feels so good excuse me you could do it you want to get it up you want to get about the ghetto the hood the projects you can do it I did it and I'm a single mother a single mother moved up out the hood without no help other than God I ain't depend on no 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 guy to get me up out the hood I didn't I made it happen. I got my behind up every day as I was scheduled to work and I went to work. I went to work. Y'all, anything that you put your mind to, you could do it. Trust and believe in God and trust and believe in yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Don't do it. You can do it. Trust me, you can do it. You can do it. And when I tell y'all, this right here is the biggest blessing. This is the biggest blessing, y'all. And to see the smile on my son's face, y'all, I know I did good. I know I did a hell of a good job. I know I did. I know I did. To see my son's face, to see the glow in his face, y'all. I know I did a good job. Listen, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. 
no much longer, y'all. Again, single mother moved out of the ghetto and I did it alone. It feels good. When I tell y'all, I lay on my bed and I lay on my back and I put my hands behind my head and I look up at the ceiling, I just be like, thank you, God. Where would I be without you? Where would I be? Let me tell y'all something. God has never let me down. God has never let me down, y'all. And it feels so good. Listen, y'all. I'm going to go ahead on the end this here video. I'm going to end this here video. Your girl is out the hood, okay? I am out the ghetto. I am out of the projects, y'all. <laughs> and I feel good. Listen, my next thing, y'all. <clears throat> the next time I move, I want it to be something that I purchase. It's mine. It will be mine. You understand me? But in the midst of that, y'all, your girl need a new car. So that's my next goal to work on. My new car. All right? Y'all got to stay tuned. Make sure y'all post notifications are turned on. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Follow me on all social media platforms. It's Karen P-I-T-S-K-A-R-E-N-P. -E Scroll across the search bar. And be sure to subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Karen P Reacts. Listen, y'all, I feel so good. And I thank God. I love God. God is love, y'all. God is love. If you're looking for love... You get it from God. He won't He won't betray you. Trust me. He won't. Trust God. Trust me. Trust God. Listen, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so very, very, very much. Y'all, be sure to share. Share. You know, I like to make these videos to help others, to inspire others. You know what I'm saying? So... I hope y'all enjoyed this here um, story time, my testimony, my life. This is me. This is what I've gone through. I went through it and I got through it, y'all, and it feels so good. Listen, I love y'all. Thank y'all so very much. Woo! Single mother vibes, y'all. Single mother vibes. Um, and if you want to get your girl a little something, something, I do have an Amazon gift registry that's already out. Um, it's Karen P., is the name uh i'll put the link in the description and if i can i'll also put it in the comments all right once again it's karen p and your girl is out by o-u-t